Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. Uh, today I'm just putting up a quick little video about what you want to bring to the track for either an autocross day or a track day. Uh, some of my favorite tools that you may or may not think of. If you're a regular, I'm sure you've got this plus a bunch more. But these are sort of some important uh, minimum tools that you want to bring with you to the track. Let me start over on the right here. This this can jump start your car right there. It also has air. It's got an air compressor in it. And uh and this one's got a light too. If if you're there after dark or when it's starting to get dark. So this is a, called a power station. They sell them at Costco for about 50 bucks. They sell them at a whole bunch of other places. Very nice thing to have. You just plug it in at home in your garage, keep it charged up, and then it's usually good all day long. You can uh, inflate quite a few tires and jump start uh, uh, a bunch of cars using that all on one, uh, one charge up. Uh, next we've got a, a low jack this can this jack can get under low cars normal jacks are about this high and you can't get them under some lowered cars it's good for 3,000 pounds so uh, that'll pretty much lift up your whole car and you're usually only using it under one quarter one corner of the car or maybe half the car if you want to lift up half the car if you've got a stiff car um, this one has got a lot of aluminum in it so it's pretty lightweight there left hand lift and I uh, got that at Harbor Freight on sale for about 60 bucks. You see them on sale from time to time. Uh, good little jack. If you're going to jack your car up, what do you need? Well, if you're going to get under it and you value your life, you're going to put some jack stands underneath it. Uh, most uh, race organizations will not let you get under a car with just a uh, floor jack holding it up. You've got to have jack stands too. So these are probably 20 years old at least. Uh, just some old jack stands. I picked them up at Pep Boy or Cragen. I don't remember what I paid for them. Quick adjust. The other kind has a pin that goes through and it has a uh, like a tube, like a steel tube with holes in it and holes in the butt in the base. And there's a pin that goes through. These are much easier to adjust. Um, so I, I like this style here. Uh, Next, air pressure gauge. This is about a $30 air pressure gauge. I got it from uh, Racer Parts Wholesale. That's a good company uh, if you need racer, you know, race stuff. Um, get one that has a scale that's about 0 to 60. You don't want something that goes up to 100 something pounds or something that only goes up to 30 pounds. Uh, so uh, I like the ones that have a little rubber case around it in case you drop it. Sooner or later you'll drop it. That one I've had four or five years. Uh, if you wonder if it's accurate, get two or three gauges together and test the same tire with two or three gauges. Then you'll, you'll find two of them that are accurate and maybe one off. Uh, and then you'll know. Or maybe they'll all be accurate if you're lucky. Anyway, the last item is a, a torque wrench for your lugs. You want to torque your lugs uh, before the event when the wheels are cold. Never torque them when your wheels are hot because then uh, when your wheel cools off you'll have to snap a stud. Uh, this one is uh, also Harbor Freight, about 15 bucks on sale maybe. Um, there have been tests of the accuracy of torque wrenches from $150 digital ones to $15 Harbor Freight ones and <laughs> You'd be surprised to find out that the, during, in this test they were all plus or minus four percent accurate. So it didn't you didn't gain a whole lot of accuracy by spending a lot of money on a torque wrench. I love expensive tools, and uh, if you you want to get one, by all means, uh, you know, go ahead and get one. But uh, the accuracy kind of runs about all the same. Uh, so there they are: uh, torque wrench, hair gauge jack stands, jack, and a power station. Okay, have a good uh, good week, and uh, right now, I gotta, uh, 
I got to use some of this stuff because I got to take my uh, race tires off and put my street tires back on. Anyway, Froggy out. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.